and I'd like to invite Laura and also Sister Silvana, um, a good friend of the parish, is with us today as well. And they are going to explain what this great news is. Hello, everyone. We Come on, everyone. What was that? <laughs> We've been Try it again. Say hello. hello, everyone. <laughs> We've been doing a lot of work with Caritas over the last year. And for anyone who isn't familiar with the work of Caritas, they're the social outreach charity of the diocese. So myself, Calise, the parish administrator, and Elroy, one of our other parishioners, have been taking part in a Caritas-led course called Firm Foundations, The Road to Resilience, a course where we were trained to be money champions and learn to assist those who may be struggling with debt, especially those who use our food distribution projects, where we support 100 to 150 families every week. We were so inspired by the other projects Caritas was supporting that we wanted to think of ways to put our new skills into action. We identified from a questionnaire we did that jobs, training, debt and mental health issues were people's top priorities. So with that in mind, we came up with a community hub idea a place where we could run courses, workshops, to help in all those areas, and to especially work with users of our food projects. We also felt that our older parishioners had really suffered from the impact of isolation during the pandemic, and we wanted to start a weekly social club where people could meet up. We also wanted to reach out to our housebound and vulnerable parishioners so they felt more connected with the parish. We were really fortunate that Caritas supported our ideas and in January we were awarded three years of funding to make these projects real and for me to work as a community support worker to coordinate the projects and to help support anyone struggling with those issues. In the last few weeks we've created a Monday morning cafe for our food project users who can pop in for tea, coffee and a chat. We have our first energy and utilities event this Monday from 10 till 3 in the parish centre for anyone struggling or in debt with utility bills. Also in the next few weeks, we'll get our Thursday club going for our older parishioners so they can socialise together and enjoy activities. We are really excited by the opportunity this funding has given our parish. Creating a community hub, not just for parishioners, but reaching out into the wider community to all people of different faiths and of none and really putting love into action. We can't do this alone. And so our hope is that you too will be inspired by this and will want to get involved to offer your time, your skills and your talents and to go on this exciting new journey together. If anybody would like to know more about what we're doing, I'll be at the back after Mass. Or if you have any ideas or thoughts, I'd really appreciate hearing them. And we're really blessed to have Sister Silvana today from Caritas, who's going to tell us a bit more about Love in Action. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Can you hear me? Okay, put your hands up if you can't. So, as you've heard, my name's Sister Silvana, um, and I'm delighted to be here. Now, you've all heard the phrase, living the dream, haven't you? And I am living the Caritas dream just by being here this morning. Because at Caritas, we're the social action agency for the diocese, but our dream is that things are not done by us, that they're done in parishes and in schools, throughout the diocese. Our dream is to have parishes, for example, that are alive, not just on a Sunday, but the whole week. Parishes where there's a strong sense of community, but always where people are looking out and seeing who are we leaving out? Who more can we include in our community? Parishes where there's a strong sense of mission and of service where there's always 
are looking outwards and are looking around and are what more can we do? What else can we do? So I want to thank you for allowing me to be here this morning because I'm living the dream. And I will be living the dream through my work with White City. You won't see me every week, you won't see me every day, but I'll be there as I have been already, supporting what's been happening. Laura and Khalees have been turning up at our firm foundation sessions where they've been learning about how to support people who have been impacted through COVID. And Firm Foundations takes its inspiration from that, those words of Jesus about the house that is built on rock. And the winds come and the rains come and the house does not fall because it's built on firm foundations. And part of the dream that we have of working with you is to help you to look around you through your love in action process, which you're going to be living this Lent and beyond Lent into Easter to look around you and to see where can you build firm foundations in the parish and in the wider community here in White City. So it's lovely for me to be here. A few of you will know me from a long time ago because actually I lived on this estate back in the last century. So this is one parish where I've never had to set my sat nav when I've, when I've come here because I've known how to get here all right. It's it's like a sort of coming home in a sense. And, and I'm really looking forward to journeying with you, to journeying with Laura, but to hearing what creativity, what new ideas come out for you. You've had lots already. You've done a lot of work during the last couple of years, but we can build on all that and, um, and really have a parish that is living God's dream not just my dream, not just the Caritas dream, but living God's dream here in White City. So thank you very much. And for of your support has been and will be to come. Really appreciate it. Can't we? And doing it together is what it's all about. So for me, that's just wonderful. It's an affirmation of so much of what we've been trying to do over these last few years, that Laura is now going to be employed three days a week, 15 hours a week, probably much more than that, knowing life, in reality. But when we've got someone who's actually not just giving generously of their time and volunteering when they can, but who's absolutely dedicated and committed and focused on this wider work of our parish, that is a game changer. That means that things that we've wanted to do but haven't quite had the, the people power to make them happen, now we can, we can dream that they can really become deeply rooted and a part of our, our, our parish's mission. Um, and Laura, as she said, it's not about Laura doing everything. It's about Laura being a catalyst, helping us to be a deeper part of this, of this dream, of this mission.